Hey, what's up, you guys? We were kicking it outside of Avalon for Cinco Four, and we got that two of the headliners. So, real quick, you guys, you guys just got off stage. What was that experience? Oh, we got another one. <laughs> um, well, we jumped on stage for the first time in six months, so it was very nerve wracking. I think the nerves kicked out about halfway through the show, but um, yeah, it's so good to be back on stage. We had a good time, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, liked it. We just had fun, um, and just like our chemistry together was uh, amazing, like always, and I hope the fans enjoyed it. But this isn't all you guys are doing. You're about to go on another crazy ass tour. So why don't you tell them what the name is and uh, how they can get tickets? Yeah, so uh, we just announced that we're going on another tour. It's called Another Fail Tour. Uh, the tickets and the dates come out on May 20th. We're heading to plan out around August 25th. We're going on tour. So uh, we're going to do all North America, hit the big cities, um, do as many cities as we can. And then we're hitting UK and Europe after. Okay, I like that. I like that. Yeah, it's it's yeah and this show is uh, not like the one you saw tonight. It's going to be completely different. So um, it's a bit of a secret and a surprise. All right, so now that we don't have three other members here, we can kind of talk some shit. So about the Ooh. twins, about the twins, you guys got to tell me something like super embarrassing. Like if they found out that, that we talked about this, like they'd like, you know, be embarrassed. Like do they have any like weird hobbies or like wet their pants sometime after tour? Or, like I think Jay's a little too passionate over FIFA. He's yeah. too, way too passionate over FIFA. Yeah, he's he like, a bit angry. <laughs> like he needs to kind of like chill out a little bit. It's a little crazy. Yeah, like the neighbors can hear him, and we live in a Jewish community, and they hate it. <laughs> he just swears. So if you get kicked out, it's Jay's fault. That's what we're uh, Pretty much, yeah. What about Luke? What can we, what can we say? Um, what can we say? Does he have like a like you know? Does he collect like Barbies or something just random or weird? Or? He has like little like toy dolls like Mickey Mouse and shit like that. Oh, and, like, yeah, yeah, he like, does. He collects yeah. little miniature dolls and takes yeah. photos with them, so that's weird. Other than that, he's pretty it's perfect. All good, it's all good, it's all good. So he takes pictures with little dolls? Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> that is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that. That about that. Yeah. Um, tell me, what what's the last thing you guys Googled? What's the last thing you guys had to look up? <laughs> uh, the American dollar to Australian dollar. <laughs> what? <laughs> American. American dollar. <laughs> yeah. I, I looked up, why is uh, the water in Chicago blue? Because I've been to Chicago and the, all the water's blue there, and I still don't know why. Apparently, it's because they dye it green every St. Patrick's Day. But as, if you guys go to Chicago, look at the water. It's all blue. That's the last thing I Googled. What's the weirdest rumor you guys heard about yourself? That you're just like, how in the world did they make this up? This has nothing to do with me as a person. I, I heard once that I have a large penis. I'm like, what, <laughs> what would make people think that? That's not a bad rumor. You don't want to make that go away, though. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even think. A rumor about me. You know how like in, I know you guys aren't a boy band, but you know how in boy bands they have everybody has like the cute one, the romantic one, the like mischievous one. Like, what would you say your guys' personalities are if you guys were in a group like that? I'll say, say I'm just the chill one. The chill one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know. What, what would you call me, Daniel? Um. The passionate one. The passionate yeah. One. Probably passionate. Yeah. Who's like the dad? Who makes sure you guys are like on time, rehearse? And oh, well, all um, of us. Oh uh, yeah. I'm kind of always on time. Daniel's I hate being late. But um, no one really likes like. At, at the start, we were always sort of late and running late, but we've sort of gotten used to it and we're taking it more serious. So I think all of us are on point right now, on to getting to places on time, which is really important, especially if you want to succeed in this industry. Absolutely, you gotta do that. And then lastly, if you found out somebody uh, was like a fan of your guys' music, who would you freak out if you found out they're a fan of yours? Um, probably Justin Bieber. That would be yeah, that would be really cool. He's just so iconic right now. He's like Elvis Presley back in the day. He's like very iconic. That would be cool. Uh, I'd say Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne? That'd yeah. be crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, real quick, tell them to get the tickets and uh, where they can keep up with you guys. Okay, guys, so you can keep up with all of our Janoskian stuff online on Twitter. Uh, just type in Janoskians. We go on tour, another fail tour. Uh, tickets and dates are released May 20th, uh, soon to be announced. Uh, we can't wait to see you guys in North America and UK and Europe. We're coming for you. See ya, I love you all. <laughs> Alright you guys, make sure you check out the Janoskins. They killed it on stage here at Cinco Four. Peace. Yeah, thanks so much.